Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivan and today I'm really happy to present you this big cover-up I did in two sessions in a row. Each session around 7 hours. I hope you enjoy the tutorial as much as I enjoy making it for you. So here we go. As you can see I have prepared my cups of ink for this project. I'm using a deep Bancho world famous set. I found it really useful for cover-up and I love the blue grey stone that it gives. It is very solid color with a big range of values. I add a few drops of mixing solution from Intense before I put the ink inside of the cup. This actually don't change the pigment, it just makes it easier to work and control. Now before I put the stencil I clean good with alcohol so I take all the oil from the skin away and disinfect it of course. It is very important to do that before cause it sticks much better to the skin. I really carefully put the stencil exactly on the place I want it to be. You can do yourself a markers if you will. It is very important to have a good plan when making such a difficult cover up. Once you are sure, you can stick the stencil in the middle, then slowly do the most important part of it first. In this case, it is the face and I have to be sure it is perfect and on the correct place. Once you have it, you can start to peel out the paper while you are holding the middle part. Like this, you will avoid distortions on the stencil and you can slowly put the rest of it. Now I let it dry between 5-10 minutes. Normally this is the time I am preparing my station for work. And there we go, I am ready to start. As you can see, I start from the part which is the most closer to the viewer side. In this case, the nose. Like always, I start from the darkest part. Here I am using complete black to make the form of the nose. This will be my eye catcher, so I must make this part perfect and leave the viewer side always there where I want it to be. And not to the rest of the tattoo that falls too much into the old one. Now here I want to mention that I don't have pretensions being a specialist in cover-ups. All what I do is share my own experience with you and how I see the best results. But this is not the only way of doing cover-up. It is just one that works for me. So after this short deviation let's come back to the tattoo. You can see that I am putting first the dark tones and then I overlay the lighter ones. This is actually only when I am working on the dark side of the project called Shadow Family. Like this I am always sure that I have enough darks and contrast into my shadows. Sometimes when you are doing the opposite way, you can't realize how much darks you are actually using. Especially when you are trying to do black over the lighter grey tone, it's really easy to make the undertone dirty and look sloppy. And it's almost impossible to do a soft gradation when you are putting first the lighter tone. To my dark shadows will actually show me the correct forms of the object I am working on. On the end, all what it left is just to add the reflections that helps the shadow look more three-dimensional and convincingly. As you can see, I start from the part which is not too much into the old tattoo. This is simply because, like this, I will see clearly what I am doing and I can give the right direction to the whole tattoo after it. It is very important to start the project correctly and much easier once you have the correct tones and values on the very beginning. The upper lip for me is like rule of thumb, it is in 99% of the cases darker than the down lip. Except of the rare situations of course, but mostly I am starting with it and this helps me to make nicer form of the mouth. I am going slowly step by step to the real cover up, again trying my tones on the dark side of course. As you can see, also my middle tone covering quite good the old tattoo, so I will try to use it as much as I can. By cover-ups I find kind of like very important, try always to keep up everything a bit lighter than it appears to be. Anyway you will need a second pass as soon as the tattoo is completely healed. With the cover-ups you can always expect that some of the old tattoo will partly show up in a few months. Even by perfect healing I recommend a fast second pass, just lighten the lights and darken the darks for a higher value range and also stronger and solid color into the skin. 
As I always say, you can easily darken some parts if necessary, but cover-ups are dark in general, especially when you're using only a grey tones. So keep it a bit lighter at the beginning is not a bad advice. Here I want to show you what my actual speed is while I'm feeling the complete black. The movements are exactly the same when I'm doing the rest of the process. Just the video will go too long and boring for you with the time. For me it's very important that color is very good filled under the skin without much damage. I'm trying to mix the correct tone into the needle and then put it under the skin in the first pass and avoid overworking it of course. This is especially important by cover-ups where you need to have a really solid colors so they can good overlay the old tattoo. When I'm working two days in a row, I'm trying to finish my piece till the end highlights to avoid coming back in the next day and apply a big paint to my customer. For me it's very important that the customer feels comfortable for long sessions. Like this I work stressless and also give a better results. Here is how I did the stencil to the exactly same place from yesterday. To not lose so much time to explaining how I'm doing it exactly, you can let me know in the comment under the video if you want to know more techniques of putting the stencil and I will try to make a special separated video for you with all the stencil stuff, tricks I'm using when I'm putting the stencil on the body. How to protect it longer and all the details around it. So let me know if this is something what you want to see in future. Now without further ado, let's go on to the tattoo. As you can see, I let the crown and the feathers for the second day. I have separated the tattoo in two parts and like this I concentrate each day on a different part of it. Here is actually the real cover up part where I will use mostly my dark tones. I'm putting a wet paper over the place I was working yesterday. This makes a customer feel comfortable and also cool down the inflammation and avoid dirty up the colors from the last day. I have chose this reference because I need these dark details so I can hide the old tribal in them. Using reference with more details for cover up is really helpful for me because I can easier hide up the old piece into the new forms. Like this, it makes it almost not recognizable for average person that this is actually a cover up. Sometimes I'm using even the forms that the old tattoo is making and reconstruct it to look correct into the new piece. The key of perfect color is to not overwork the skin. Low voltage and slow moves are for me the best combination to achieve this. You can also take a look that my needle is always full of ink. This is also very important when you're trying to fill a solid color.
Now guys, this is pretty much all what was important for me in this piece. I hope this video was helpful for you and you can show it to me by hitting that like button. If you want to see more, go and subscribe for my channel if you aren't and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Let me know also in the comment below what you want to see more. I would love to see you all in my next video. Stay safe and remember that together we are stronger. Supporting each other is everything.